Hello, welcome to Board Deck and Dice. Today is something a little bit different. I've recently got Shades by it and its expansions and it's fair to say that I am a bit of a noob when it comes to uh, anything Warhammer. I had the Warhammer Quest card game. That was the first uh, anything branded Warhammer I've ever had. And the first two times I've been into a Warhammer shop have been about Shadespire. Uh, things that put me off Warhammer, quite frankly, are the models. Putting them together, gluing them, um, trimming them down, cutting them from the sprue. I'm not a painter, so I always would have got someone else to do that because I don't want it to look like a five-year-old's done it. In fact, that's an insult to five-year-olds. Um, but Shadespire really grabbed my attention with the kind of promise of an similar to X-Wing kind of system where you're, you're fighting, you're going for objectives, but with what I think is a more generous um, way to, to buy the stuff. You're getting more, in my opinion, for your money. Uh, or you're ready to go more quickly. Um, yet, I knew it came on sprues and you had to clip them out and there was some level of putting them together. Now, the models in here are really good in terms of putting together. They clip together. You know when you've got it in the right place. They're made really cleverly, but you do need to clip them out. So what I've done is just done a little video of um, how what I've found, the mistakes I've made with that, because um, I have put a few nicks in some of the models. Now, for me, that's not a massive thing. If you're a big Warhammer fan, you'll probably find that sacrilegious. But for me, I'm I'm buying this to play. Um, I'm not saying anyone else isn't, but I'm not I'm not going to be too precious about things like this. Basically, I'm just starting out. I'm going to make mistakes, and I'd rather make mistakes with uh, with this set, which is relatively um, affordable and readily available, than something that I was really I don't know. I don't want to try and say. Anyway, that's how I feel about it. Um, Basically, my, my biggest tip would be in terms of the clippers, if you can get clippers that are as flat on one side as possible, or maybe even slightly curved, I ended up using toenail pliers, uh, but they worked really well, as you'll see in a minute. Um, and I've got a small point so you can get some of those awkward angles. Also, if you've got awkward angles, don't be afraid to cut away the sprue itself before going to cut the sprue away from the piece for the figure, the base. The bases could be a bit tricky, but some of the weapons as well. If you can't see clear enough to know that you're cutting sprue and not the figure, I never actually cut a figure, came close. Um, then clip, clip some of the supporting sprue away that's not gonna be used and get yourself a better angle. Anyway, with that being said, let's have a look at uh, some of the tools I used. Thanks very much for watching World Deck and Dice. Uh, here's how I got on. Okay, so this is a quick uh, what I'm going to call uh, Shades Buyer for Noobs video. So I have bought some Shades Buyer stuff. I've never even been into a Warhammer shop before uh, this week to get Shades Buyer and then the expansions. So I'm a total noob, never put anything together before. Um, and this is just to help you avoid perhaps some of the mistakes I've made um, if you are interested in Shades Buyer. The first thing to say is this is a completed figure. It all. Um, fits together really nicely and um, you can see where it's come off the um, sprue and there's various different ways of dealing with that now I have um, that this is probably the worst figure I've done so I've got a little bit of plier damage in there I'm not so bothered I'm doing this for the figures I know some diehard Warcraft people or figures or painters will be horrified by my techniques but um, they're good enough for me. I'm not going to be painting them myself. Um, uh, I may get a friend to do it depending how well I get into it. So they're all pull apart. I've not glued them. They go together nicely. They kind of click in. You can see another connection there to the, uh, where it's come off the sprue and there. So this is the worst figure I've done probably in terms of um, putting it together and all that. Um, let me just pop that back on there. I can't remember where it goes. Oh, well, you don't see me do that. It goes on there anyway. Um, what I was using initially was these uh, pliers and just a craft knife. Um, so just to try and see if tools are something to blame, today I've got uh, these, which are thinner. Uh, they're actually nail cutters, nail clippers. Um, but they're thinner and they're a bit more curved on the back, whereas this one is got an in, indent, so it doesn't cut. I think that's some of my problem with having so much left behind and then I was doing a bit of damage using this big knife. So I just picked up a cheap pair of uh, nail clippers from Superdrug 
and a craft knife from Ryman, which is a bit sharper, a bit thinner. And that is the key to this, I think. Um, I'm a lot happier today because these things get a lot closer and they're just better because if you look here, some of the bits to get into, I'll just wait for that to focus in. There we go. If you're using these big ones, trying to get them in, you have to wiggle it around and go for the angle right. Whereas these little ones kind of go in very, very nicely. And you can, it's a bit scary, do that and do that. And there's hardly any uh, of the sprue left on it. So you can trim it down with the knife if you want. To be honest, like that, I'll probably leave it for my painter friend to do because um, it's not that bad. It's still quite smooth. You get a lot closer with these ones than you do with the plier ones. These sprues all come with numbers on them. You get guides that tell you which numbers fit in, in which. Um, but so far, the game has been so enjoyable that this has been very worthwhile for me. And I have, uh, because the figures click together like they do and because it's easy to do, I have uh, invested in this. So that is a noob's guide to putting the figures together and cutting them out from um, Warhammer Shadespire. Recommend some thin clippers, like I say, even these nail ones will do the job. And as thin, it doesn't have to be a proper craft knife, but a thin Stanley knife or a thin um, tra 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 uh, hobby knife that you can get right in the gaps. And that's the key thing. Some of them, are, particularly the skeletons, have very small pieces, so you'll want smaller stuff. Thanks very much for watching Board Deck and Dice. We'll see you next time.